Hello, we'll provide a short introduction on LibM2K. We'll quickly walk through the installation process, then show you how easy it is to use it. LibM2K is a C++ library for interfacing with the ADLM2000, split into correlated components interconnected by a context. The library provides bindings for c -sharp, Python, MATLAB and LabVIEW. The M2K components represent the functionalities of ADLM2000. Analog in, oscilloscope or voltmeter, analog out, signal generator, digital, logic analyzer or pattern generator, power supply, constant voltage generator, DMM, digital multimeter. Go to the latest release page and download the package that fits your system. You can find all the links referenced in this video, as well as the commands used in the video description. Windows installation. Download the Windows installer and run through all the required steps. Make sure you only select the libm2k Python bindings that correspond to your installed Python version. Proceed with the installation. Linux installation. Download the libm2k package for your distribution and unzip it. Install the libio package by running the command shown on the screen. Then, install the libm2k package by typing the following command. Finally, install the Python bindings by running this command. macOS installation. Download the libm2k Darwin package that fits your operating system and unzip it. Install the libio package by running the command shown on the screen. Then, proceed to installing libm2k by typing the following command. For more detailed instructions on how to build a library from source or other topics, check out the What is LibM2K wiki page. To help get you started, several example programs are provided on our repository. There are examples in C++, C Sharp, and Python. For LabVIEW users, there's also instructions on how to install and use the bindings. Now that you're ready to use the library, let's move on to the fun part of this video. We're going to use the microphone included in the parts kit to record some audio with the module, which will reverse and then play it back on the speaker, also included in the parts kit. We'll be using a Python script, which you can find on GitHub, and as always, the link is provided in the description. To build a circuit, you'll need the following. One resistor of 100 ohm, one resistor of 20 kilo ohms, two capacitors of one microfarad, one electric microphone, and one loudspeaker. Now we build our circuit according to the schematic. Pause the video and make sure you get all the connections right. With the circuit built, it's time to check out how easy it is to interact with the module. Open your Python IDE of choice and the voice reverser script. Let's explain the process and run the script, but first, make sure you have all the necessary packages installed. Connect the M2K to the computer using the USB connector in the middle. We start out by creating the context and thus connecting to the module. After calibrating the ADC and the DAC, we create instances for each component that will be required for this example. We'll need analog in for the recording, analog out for the playback and power supply to power up the microphone. This is handled by the next set of instructions, where we enable the positive power supply pin and set it to 4 volts. Then, we enable the two analog inputs and configure their sample rate and range. After selecting the length of the recording, we capture actual data using the getSamples function. It may sound like gibberish now, but it will make sense once we flip it. Retnaulb. 
Naturally, to play back our recording, we have to enable the analog output that drives the speaker and set its sample rate. Then, we process the data we recorded on analog input 2 and feed the flipped version to analog output 1. The push function tells the DAC to push the given buffer. After that, we plot the processed samples. Since we set the DAC to run on cyclic mode, the recording will play until the context is closed. All of the functionalities provided by LibMTUK are documented and can be found online at the link given in the video description. If you've got any other questions, feel free to ask us on the Engineers on Forum in the Virtual Classroom section. Thank you all for watching!